This is the 2.5 inch build I did for maps using their SZ1404 46,000 KV motors. The purpose of this drone is meant for flying around the house and at the same time to stay super light. More for like a background practice purpose, maps did sponsor these motors after I reached out to them expressing my interest to try them out. So thank you maps. Without these motors, this quad is going to cost around 80 bucks ish to build, but including the motors, the overall cost is going to be around 127 US, which has scavenged all the parts around different marketplaces during sale. So your actual cost might fluctuate a bit and can be even cheaper if you shop at the right timing. And if you are interested in the assembly process, the video link is going to be right here. And in this video, we will be going over the specs. I will test fly this thing and I will share some of my thoughts for these MAPS motors. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Okay, let's do a quick overview of specs so you know what parts I'm using and the price I was able to land on. The first item is the frame. And this is a generic 2.5 inch frame from AliExpress. The cost is about 12 US dollars, nothing special about it, it's just the cheapest option that has TPU prints that I can find. Next is the fly stack. And this fly stack is the brand new Speedy B F405 Mini 20x20 stacks. You get tons of UARTs and function available at a very affordable price around 44 US dollars. Okay, so next is the VTX system. The VTX system, we will have the camera as the Fox Eraser and the HGLRZ Zeus. And I was able to land on about $10 each of these. Next is going to be our RX. The RX is going to be right here. And the RX seems to be a Flywoo EP2-like ELRS receiver. Don't know the cost since I received it as used, but the cost should be around $10. Whatever parts I mentioned priorly, you will be able to purchase them on AliExpress. The last item are the MAPS motors, which you will only be able to purchase MAPS motors from MAPS website. They don't have any third-party resellers at the moment. And these motors are going to be the SC1404 46,000 kV motor, which I plan to run them on 4S LiPo, 2.5 inch 4S LiPo. I will also be strapping a Runcam Thumb Pro on the top to get better footage. As for the performance, I don't know yet, but we shall find out soon. Okay, let's just take it out and give it a quick rip. Okay, so the current footage you are seeing is coming out from the Runcan Thumb Pro at 4K 30 frames per second. And as this tiny quad is not ducted, we're just gonna fly this outdoor, so my wife does not kill me. Obviously, you can probably already tell that these motors are pretty smooth and it handles 4S quite well. I am using the smallest 4S LiPo I have, which is the 400 Mini M1s, to try to reserve the weight. For the camera stuff on the top, it does feel quite bulky, but you still get some decent amount of punch out from these motors as long you are running it on 4S. I also tried to flown it very aggressively with these 4S motors just to see if the motor heats up and the result is quite okay, no major heats and performance are fine. Also the biggest problem with this build is not the components but the frame. Trust me, don't buy these generic frame from AliExpress. Yes, they are very cheap but the quality is generally pretty poor. For the one I had, the arm still has a slight wobble even though I try to screw it as tight as I can. And this does impact my flight when I'm trying to do maneuvers. So I might swap this to a better frame later on to give it some justice. Please learn from a mistake and don't buy these generic frames. Okay, let's head back to the bench and let me share my final thoughts of these motors. Okay, we are back. Straight out of the bat, I am fully aware that MAPS is a new company that has an iffy iffy review due to having the incorrect approach priorly on their marketing strategy that pissed the community off and I do agree that is not correct. But since then, I think they have learned their lesson and has improved quite a lot. At least I did not get forced to provide any dishonest review. As for the quality wise, I am not a crazy good pilot to tell the difference right away by just flying them. 
and I don't have a stress test machine to generate actual data out to see the actual numbers of these, how these motors are performing. But I will say these MAPS motors performs as expected, just like any other motors from other manufacturers. And I strongly doubt they will have much quality issue and much difference compared to others. Are they the best motors? Though they are not. And in fact, I don't think anyone should be claiming the title unless there is a scientific proof or technology breakthrough. The reason why I'm saying this is due to Number one, MAPS is located in Nanchang City, same as other major FPV motor manufacturers like T-Motor, Axis Flying, and MAP Motors, etc. And if you actually understand China history and the geography, you will know that Nanchang is a major air base for China since World War II. And what comes with it is the aviation industry built around it. And this is why most of our FPV motors are manufactured right here. These factories have been doing this business for ages and hobby motors are simply only the byproduct which are much easier technology for these industry giants to produce. And it's hard to believe that they cannot generate good top quality products as long as they have good material. Okay, so number two, Consider Maps is a fairly new FPV motor company that just came out recently and to think logically that large motor factory don't magically appear overnight, we can almost have the conclusion that MAPS must have had someone to manufacture these motors for them. And my prediction is they might even be co-branded from someone else. We just don't know who that company is yet. Their motors could have came out from the MAP motor line, Axis line, or the T motor line. I don't know. And the point I wanted to make is, it's going to come out from the same CNC machine, which you're getting the same coil magnets and parts. And the only difference will be the design of the build, logos, and the raw material use. But ultimately, ultimately, there should not be much difference between these brands as long as the retail price range is the same. You are actually paying for what you're getting for. Okay, so based on what I just said, I just wanted to provide a different viewpoint of these motors, and you don't have to agree with me. You are free to have your own opinion as this is your money. But if you have a future build coming up, I do think it's worth it to give maps a try, as quality should not be an issue. But if you are super skeptical and just don't want to throw your money towards it right away, MAPS do have an occasional review program which they offer out free test kits for you to try out. Just check their website or contact one of their reps to find out more. Okay, anyway, done with my murmuring. Whether if you agree or have a different opinion of these motors, why not just leave it in the comment section? I will see you next time. Bye for now. You're gonna roast me, roast me lighter.